Nobody is expecting the glitter to be in their drink. And this is what we're going to call our Valentine's Love Potion. And I think that's really cute. Move for the liquor, then we die. In it. Pull them to the side, let me slide. In it. a good time not a long one let's get straight to it i just washed my hands so make sure you wash yours today we're gonna make a valentine drink that's what the big thing is i see so much red white and pink on my feet i might as well contribute and let me show y'all this cup i got on tiktok shop because baby can you say cute let's fill it up so the drink that we're gonna be making is gonna be a love potion we're gonna use some stella rosa stella berry Stelly. <laughs> Stella Berry. This is how it looks. So you can go to your nearest Kroger's, Walmart, H-E-B, Publix. Baby, I'm pretty sure all the stores got Stella Rosa by now. Then we're going to use some cotton candy. I would have said Dollar Tree Special, but I went to Walmart and got it for $3.94. Don't say your cheap ass can't afford it. Then I got, I got a few little rags. I had a hairy ass raspberry. I don't know why they be looking like that, but we're going to use raspberries in this recipe. It's going to come together. Trust the process. And I feel like I'm missing something. Ice cream. What's a drink with no ice cream? A normal drink. <laughs> a normal drink. Yeah, a normal <laughs> drink. My kids in here watching me, y'all, so yeah. Anyway, I think it's called Teliente. Teliente, Teliente. Motherfucking none dairy sherbet for short. So we, I got the raspberry sorbet and this is what we're gonna use. So let's make it. First, I'm gonna get a plate. And I'm gonna tell you what we need that plate for. I'm just gonna get this long one because it's cute. You see it right here, hopefully. Let me show you what we're gonna do with this. This is why you should wash your hands. So if you hadn't wash your damn hands, get your cotton candy and yes, I have to open it. So give me a second. You're going to take the cotton candy and open it. We're going to make some balls with this cotton candy. It's going to make the drink super cute with a surprise in it that nobody expects. Pink cotton candy. It's real good as hell. Let me just taste it. Make sure it ain't poisonous first. Mm. It's good. I didn't fall out. So I guess y'all can go buy some. Anyway, we're going to take the cotton candy. You're going to make some balls out of it. When I say make balls, you're going to get on Amazon, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Marshalls, get you some edible glitter. This is small. I think I probably paid like $10 for this off Amazon. It comes the next day. Um, I have, and don't be paying attention to my facial expressions because if my mouth don't say it, my face will. I got to get used to that. But anyway, it has a little hole on top, so that's what we're going to use to fill these bones up. I don't want to make them too big for the simple fact that my glass is small, so I'm guessing this could possibly be enough and then i'm just gonna roll it up tight so you're gonna take that glitter you're gonna take your cotton candy you're gonna put some of that glitter inside the cotton candy i'm thinking this i wanted to be cute so <laughs> and we're just gonna make a ball out of it make it nice and tight we're gonna drop these oh, look at me they made a damn mess <laughs> all right so we're gonna drop the oh my god this is not working i should have thought this through a little better let's try again I can look every damn well. All right. All right, so I'm going to just fill this one up too. Just to show you guys how it's done. It's pretty simple. Yep, we're going to put that on the plate. And I know it looks a little weird. I got this big plate, so let's size down. Just because that's too much space that I'm not using. Might as well eat that piece of cotton candy. I don't want it to go to waste. <laughs> and we're going to move this out the way. And we're just going to sit these right here. Put that over there. Close it up real good. And we're going to start on our drink. So first thing you're going to do is take one of those little hairy raspberries. I'm going to put it in the bottom of the cup. I don't like them. We're going to use them. Then you're going to take none dairy sorbet. You're going to take that. Open it up. I didn't open any of this beforehand, so I probably gotta take the paper off it too, which I do. If you buy it and it ain't got no seal on it, leave it at the store. That means somebody leaked it. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna take this little scoop, but I'm not gonna get too much 
because my cup is small. Just gonna scoop some of this out. It's a beautiful hue of pink. It's so cute. Take my spoon and put it in here. Just drop it on top. And when you pick out your wine, make sure you get something with like a tint of pink to keep the love potion going. Don't get something dark red. Don't get something another color because I don't know how that's going to turn out and it's not going to be giving Valentine. And that's what we're here for. We're trying to give Valentine vibes. So get something with a pink tint. Just let me put my top back on this sorbet because I don't want it to melt. And I'm going to pop it back in the freezer. Now, this already starting to look good. Look at it. And then we're going to add our wine to it. I love Stella Rosa. i got to bless the bottle. Oh. Just pour a little in the glass. Just so it can melt down. And that's cute. It's already given. I don't want to overfill it, so that's why you see me taking my time. We sit this right here. I'm gonna take my little spoon and give it a little mix. But I think I probably put too much ice cream in here. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We'll know in a minute. So this is how it looks. I'm just gonna give it one little stir again because my sorbet had melted all the way down, but it is cute. It's giving Valentine. And we're gonna drop that from these bombs in there. And it should melt it down. I should have used a bigger cup. So once your guests start to drink it, it's going to be a cute surprise because nobody is expecting the glitter to be in their drink. And this is what we're going to call our Valentine's Love Potion. And I think that's really cute. So you guys, give me a like, a share, and even subscribe if you like this. Try to get your girl to 1K. I'm going to share more recipes and you should also follow me on my TikTok account, which will be linked below. But yeah, are you going to make this Valentine drink or not? Mmm. Oh, and it's good. I like that. Look at the glitter in the straw. Super cute. And the glasses on TikTok shop. Check my showcase. Bye, you guys.